just got home from school, makeup's a mess, but today I'm going to bring you guys a massive book haul full of all the books I bought in May, all the books that I got from BookCon, and from my New York trip, as well as a page habit unboxing, so let's jump right into it. I feel like I look orange and it's really bothering me, but it's fine. of you by Bo Bo Taplin. I'm probably saying that very wrong. This I was actually sent by Andrews McMill Publishing, so thank you so much to them. It was a surprise and I read this and I really loved it. It I've never read from this author before but I just thought this collection was very well done and I believe it just came out this month or like mid-May. So check this one out if you are a poetry lover because I personally really enjoyed it. Heart by Casey West. This is the new Casey West book that came out. I believe this one this one's like a podcast romance thing. I thought, why not? Here I got Hope Nation, and this is by a bunch of YA authors, and this is why authors share personal moments of inspiration. So I thought I'd pick this up. By the publisher, I was sent Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. I got this earlier in the month of May, and I was so excited for it because I didn't like stalking Jack the Ripper, but I loved printing Hunting Prince Dracula, so I like needed this, and I requested it from them, and they were so sweet to send it to me. So thank you so much to Little Brown for sending this my way. I'm very excited to read this. This is the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, and this one I'm so excited to read. Like, I've been like making myself not read this because I have other arcs to read, and I'm like, uh, you all are asking me so many questions about is The Outsider by Stephen King. I did pick the, pick this one up this month for it obviously came out this month. I am hoping to read this. I'm not going to say soon because I'll say soon but I probably won't read it soon because I have other things that I want to read right now but like I do want to get to this and I know I've gotten like I've gotten questions if I'm reading it if I'm doing a review on it whatever. I will do a review on it when I read it but I don't know when that's going to be but I've been hearing some great things about it. All I know is it's like an unspeakable crime, an abundance of evidence, 11 year old boy's corpse in the park, how can two opposing stories be true? It sounds really good and I've heard good things about this so I do want to get to this one. Undead Girl Gang by Lily Andrews. This is a YA contemporary-ish book. I believe it's like witchy. It has to do with like bringing back the dead. Um, it sounds really good. It's been getting really good reviews. I was supposed to read this for the Buzzworthathon but I did not because I failed at that readathon. But we'll move on. I also got A Court of Frost, A Court of Frost and Starlight, Sarah J. Mass. Haven't read this one yet. Heard very mixed things on it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm interested to see where I'm st gonna stand. This is like the 3.25 or like 3.25 of the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses series. It's like the little bridge between the first trilogy and then the second half of the thing that's gonna come out. I don't know. It's a mess. <laughs> We're gonna open my page habit box because it's been. Uh, I'm dying to see what's in that. We're back. So, <laughs> page habit. If you do not know, I'm an ambassador with them. So, my link is down below in my code and stuff. So, if you want to get the box, you can get like a discount and stuff. I do really love page habit, they're great. So, let's go through this. I'm excited because I've been, this has been sitting there and I'm like, I want to read it. This is. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> Lily Anderson. <laughs> and now I know what the book is. Okay, I already have this book, but I mean, okay. Um, that's cool. I got a note from the author. <laughs> what else is in here? What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Pull light. Two way. <laughs> Color changing. Choose from two settings. Multicolor changing. It's literally a LED light bulb that changes colors and you can like hang it. Interesting. Okay, not really what I expected, but all right. Um, we also have this little like snow globe keychain and it's a little, this one's a little white fox, which is really, really cute. Um, we have the bookmark, which is of all things I liked books best, Nikola Tesla which is really cool. Come on, focus for me, please. I'm very hyper today, if you couldn't tell, but that came in there. I love their bookmarks. What is this? Show mark bookmark, and it's literally like this little guy and his feet stick up. Okay, interesting. 
This month's stuff is so random, I can't. Um, okay, so these are the picks for all the boxes. Ooh, the mystery box had the perfect mother in it. That's fun. <laughs> so yes, the book is Rogan by Lily Anderson. Anderson. This has her little thing signed. If you don't know, it comes with annotations in it from the author. So I'll probably read this copy now, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and then there's a little short story. It's always at the bottom. So this one's the ones, the ones who remain. Um, domestic disturbance, rehab, no ordinary suspect. So it's a little short story. So that's really cool. And that's everything for the May Page Habit box. Page Habit never disappoints me. A little weird this month. <laughs> Kind of strange, but I do love Page Habit and their stuff because, like, you can choose a certain genre and it's a great time. Okay, other books. Um, these are from my New York trip and from BookCon, so we'll go through those. First up here from Barnes and Noble, because if you guys don't know, I'm from Canada, so like I can't get a lot of that stuff here. But, anyways, went to Barnes and Noble, went to the Strand, and went to BookCon. And my vlog, I'll link it up on the screen. I worked my ass off on it if you want to watch it. Um, this is the Great Cat Poems about cats. And it's like one of these editions. These are like the Everyman's Library Poet Pockets. So I'm very excited about that. Next from the Strand, I got The Exorcist. Um, this, obviously, this is the most terrifying novel ever written, apparently. Um, if you guys have seen the old movie, the original, that's that creeps a lot of people out. I personally haven't seen it, but I've like seen like clips from it and stuff like that. But I want to read the book and I want to see if this is scary because like when I was researching like a few years ago, I was researching like the scariest books ever and this was one of them. So I don't know if you guys have read this, let me know if you think it's scary or not. Then I got some of the Barnes and Noble um, classic editions, which I was so excited for. So I got classic ghost stories. It's in the plastic right now, but this has Edgar Allan Poe, Charles Dickens, Arthur Conan Doyle, M.R. James, uh, William Hope Hudson, and others. You guys are going to be really happy with this one, but I ended up getting um, H.P. Lovecraft's collection, so the complete Cthulhu Mythos Tales. And this comes with a poster in the back and everything. I'm very excited because I've been wanting to get some of H.P. Lovecraft's work. You guys have been telling me to read it too, so I'm very excited about that. Not mention. Edgar Allan Poe. So I got another one of these. I have another Barnes & Noble one that I got like when I went th like three years ago, which is this one. So now I got two and they're so pretty. <laughs> so this just has all his works, so all his poems and all his short stories in this bind up. If you guys did not see my vlog, I went with my friend Kayla and she brought me something back from Quebec and because she traveled to get here and then we traveled together. But she brought me the Bachman books, this hardcover, and she sent a picture of it to me when she was in her like used bookstore. She's like, do you have this? And I'm like, no, oh my God, like that's hard to find. Like, please bring it back for me. And she brought it back. So thank you so much to her. But basically the big deal with this one is like they sell these on like eBay and Amazon and like you kind of have to like scour the internet for them because it has rage in it, which has, is unpublished. They're not printing it anymore. So you have to find like the old bind ups that are used. And mm, I'm so happy that I got this for like my whole Stephen King collection. So yes, thank you, Kayla. My poetry loving self ended up getting Whiskey Words in a Shell Volume 1 again, <laughs> like because I already own this book, but this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. I got it for that sticker. Yes. Next I have War Cross by Mary Lou, and you're probably like, don't you have it? Yeah, it's right here. But I kind of, di I didn't think I was going to meet her at BookCon because I didn't have tickets because I couldn't get a hold of tickets because they sold out. But there was a book signing that night in New York, not far from like, the area that I was in and she was there. So I would have brought my two copies of Warcross that I already have, but I'm about to buy another one. So I got this signed. She was so sweet. I'm so happy. I got to meet her and get a book signed by her because you guys know I love this book so much. Still better, I didn't get an arc of a uh, wild card, but it's fine. Arcs that I did get though, I ended up getting Select Few by Merritt Weisenberg. Uh, all her life she thought she was alone. This book comes out in October. This is actually a sequel. Um, I know it's about cults and things like that, but I don't want to look too much into it because, you know, sequel. Um, I also got Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. This is like a small town, brutal murders, like a group of girls, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm excited for it. So got Witch, Unleashed, Untamed, Unapologetic. It's like one of those non-fiction, 
ish kind of books, I believe, about witchcraft. So I'm interested to read this. I also have Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Marie Mikado, Machado. And this is a strand sign edition. So this one is, I'm like out of breath, like <laughs> shit. Um, this one's also signed. I've heard really good things about this. Um, I don't know much about it, but I've heard good things about it. This is like a little sci-fi short story. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one because I have not been able to find it. So when I saw it there, I'm like, I need it. Next up here, I have the Great Expectations manga. Don't know what the story about. The classic, obviously, by Charles Dickens. This is it in manga form. I did quite like Great Expectations when I read it. So I'm looking forward to that, seeing how it translates into a manga. Translates into a manga. I also got Snot Girl by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung. And this... I don't even know. I've just heard good things about it. And then I also got signed by the author and illustrator. I also got this little graphic novel arc thing. And then this other graphic novel arc called Open Earth and it's like an erotic space thingy. There was a lot of things when I opened that. Um, cheese Sweet Adventure and it's all in color, guys. Look how cute. I'm, I died when I saw this. And I got this collection of Sylvia Plath's poems. Then I also got Fresh Water. This was such a good deal. And like, I believe it's about, either it's about schizophrenia or dissociative identity disorder. And this is like a new release and I've been having my eye out for it. But like adult hardcovers are so expensive in Canada and this was only like 13, 12 US. And so I grabbed it. Then I also met Amanda Lovelace. So I brought my copy of, my two copies of her books, my copies of her books. But then it's like, oh, you gotta buy a copy to get it signed. And I was like, okay. Um, so I ended up buying another copy of The Witches and Burning This One, and I got all three of these signed. So she was so lovely. I love meeting her. I love her poetry so much. Then this cut out, but I got Shoot Down The Wendy Bird by Julie Zantopoulos. This is a collection of short stories and poetry, and this is by the booktube channel, Pages and Pens, Julie. I hang out with her a lot throughout BookCon and she's such a sweetheart. So she gave me her book and she signed it for me and I'm very excited about it. And she signed it and she's, mm, I love hanging out with her. She was everything. So that is my haul. It was a time. Let me know what you guys bought or like some of the things you bought or out of this, this huge pile, what I should get to first. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe and comment if you feel like it. Um, I'm usually not this hyper in my videos, or I don't even know, I just feel very weird today, but like, girl needs to film. So yeah, and also thank you to Paige Habit for sending me their box for review. As always, I'll have all their links down below, and yes, if you want to see my vlog of the book con experience, I'll link it on the screen for you guys, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye! Back tomorrow's win